So, this really comes back to you. This award ceremony is done normally in the spring. At end of April. But we were out of school. All right? So, for you let ones, this doesn't really apply. It's really about you just seeing how it goes. Let me stretch you. All right? And I apologize. We normally don't do this during school hours. We do it after school. And it's optional in attendance. The problem with that is right now the rules don't allow for that. And it's not fair to those that want to actually receive their awards. So we're trying to make that happen. It's also not necessarily fair to the parents and all that want to see some of it, so that's why we're live streaming this out so that parents can at least follow along at home and watch today, okay? First time we're really trying to do this, so bear with us, all right? And hopefully this goes well enough so that we can do it again here come November so that you all will have the opportunity to tell your parents, hey, watch me as I get my words since I'm not so sure things will change by then. Okay? Got it? All right. When we get the thumbs up, we're going to get this thing started. You want to clap when people get their name called and everything? Clap. If you don't, don't. I'm not going to sit here and give you the applause sign. But if you are going to clap, keep it down at one or two, three claps. I mean, this isn't go hooping and hollering. McCall, can you come up here? Is that? All right. We get the thumbs up from the video crew, so we are going to get ready to go. Are you going to try it from down there? Or you want to come do it from the? You going to stay there? Good morning, cadets. Welcome to the 2020 JRTC Awards Banquet. Ladies and gentlemen, the Stinger Battalion of Hiram High School welcomes you to the annual JRTC Awards Banquet. I am Cadet Major James Booker. Please stand for the sorry, the reciting of the JRTC Creed. Junior ROTC cadet. I will always conduct myself to bring credit to my family, country, school, and the Corps of Cadets. I am loyal and patriotic. I am the future of the United States of America. I do not lie, cheat, or steal. I will always be accountable for my actions and deeds. I will always practice great citizenship and patriotism. I will work hard to improve my mind and strengthen my body. I will strict. Oh, I will work hard. Wait. I will seek the mental leadership and stand prepared to hold the Constitution American way of life. May God grant me strength to always abide his creed. You may be seated. At this time, I would like to introduce Cadet Captain Olos. 
Thank you, Kid and McCall. On behalf of the entire battalion, I would like to introduce a, a few guests that we have. Thank you, Mr. Wallace, for being here. <laughs> we are here this morning to honor cadets who have excelled in the academics, JRTC curriculum, physical fitness, citizenship, community service, and leadership in all the push-ups from Sergeant throughout this year. For all the moment, I will wish to speak about something other than the awardees themselves to be honored tonight. We here over the course of the year, we have planned and executed events all around the county but due to COVID, most of our events were canceled and we had to adapt to our new way of school. Our dream, our dream team made it a state, but couldn't compete due to COVID-19. At this time, I'd like to give a round of applause to all the cadets who made it a state. Now, before we have someone fall asleep, we will begin presenting our national awards to those cadets who have worked hard all year to improve themselves in this battalion in our community. Our first award of the day goes to Superior Cadet. The Superior Cadet decoration is an award to the cadet in the top 10 of their JRTC class and the 50% of their class overall academic standing and recommendations. These awards go to C Cadet Madeline Rydell, Cadet Cooper, Cadet McCall, Cadet Michael, and Cadet Paul. Please come up here. The, and Cadet Mitchell, I'm sorry. I can't see. You. Six feet. <laughs> One more round of applause for these cadets. Y'all can walk off now. Thank you. Our next award is Distinguished Cadet Award for Scholastic Excellence. Award to only one cadet who fits the highest degree of excellence in leadership and scholastics. This award goes to Cadet Major Booker. One more round of applause. The next award is Academic Excellence Award, awarded to one cadet of each level for achieving the highest academic grades. These awards are presented to Cadet Haley Thurner, Cadet Rachel Cooper, Cadet McCall, and Cadet Olas, and Cadet Maddie Lee Rydell. Could those cadets come up here? Our next awards are going to be our Academic Wreath and Achievement Awards. Uh, these are going to be some of the same people, so if you just sat down, I'm sorry. Uh, this is going to Cooper, McCaw, Stigall, uh, Jude Cadet, Tate Kirby, Haley Thurner, Yasmin Olas, and Madeline Riddell. And uh, Ashley Mitchell.
We just gave it to you. Okay, it's just the same. It's, it's the, the same, same thing. Video. Okay. So the world who didn't get it? The next award we have is the Dalian Award. The Order of the Dalian is a fairly of commissioned military pilots from the military service. It is named the legendary figure Delius and was organized by World War I. Commissioned military pilots who fought to pursue the spirits of patriotism, love of country, and those high ideals of self sacrifice which place service to the nation above personal safety and position. This award is often to encourage the development of these traits in junior ROTC cadets and instruct them into their military career. This award is presented to Cadet Haley Thurner. Awesome. The next award is Sons of the American Revolution. This award is awarded to the cadet in their third year of ROTC in the top 10 of GRTC class and top 25 of overall class and has a degree of memory. This award is presented to Cadet Booker James. The next award is the Old Gate of Guard City Gate Award. Award to the second year in the three year program, a third year in the program, must be a junior. And this award is awarded to again, Cadet James Booker. Go, Booker! Ladies and gentlemen, that completes our National Level Awards. We will now move on to our Instructor Awards. First up is, Kit, is Lieutenant Colonel Morris. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, sir. All right, so first up is our rifle team. This will be for our marksmanship badges. Let's see, for this class period, we've got, uh, well, we got Tate. <laughs> who basically already has all his stuff, so he just gets a silver uh, oak leaf for his rifle team ribbon, because he already is an expert marksman. So. Congratulations, Tate. Keep up the good shooting. Expect more to come from you to this uh, year. So now I'm wearing my first arms hat, and we're going to do some uh, drill team presentations. Uh, First up would be for the male color guard and drill team commander, Mr. Booker. <laughs> Mr. Booker was a jack of all trades last year and this year, so he got a big old plaque from first sergeant, tells him uh, how much he appreciated him for all his hard work and dedication. Next up is the unarmed squad um, commander, Miss uh, Paul.
Thank you, Ms. Paul. And next we have our top 40, uh, Cadet Ashton, uh, Mitchell, or Michael, as they like to call it. And then we also have Cadet Badat. Well, some people say Badot, but I say Badat. Because that's the way I like to say it. Congratulations there, Badot. followed by Ms. Parker. All right, good job, guys. All right, so we're now going to move on to our unit awards. So first off is our excellent staff ribbon is awarded to the cadet for staff officers for excellent performance. This is awarded to cadet Yasmin Olas, cadet James Booker, and cadet Leanzi Hernandez, who graduated last year, so she's not here today. Alright, so up next we have our Senior Army Instructor Leadership. It is awarded annually to one cadet from each LET level who displays the highest level of leadership. This is presented to Rachel Cooper, Catherine Paul, Haley Thurner, and Madeline Riddell. Next, we have our awards to the cadet who was elected to student government, and this is going to Yasmin Olas. This is our most dependable award. It's awarded to the most dependable male and female cadet. Um, we've got Ashton Mitchell and Christina Badeau. Next is our top company commander awards. It's awarded to the top company commander for both semesters who demonstrated great leadership and dedication. We've got it for Madeline Riddell and Cadet Haley Thurner.
This next one is the top first sergeant award. This is presented to Cadet Veronica Bartlett. Pause for a quick second. So how's everyone doing? Good. So like we have some national awards that we didn't have right now, but when they come in, we will present those in their class periods. Okay? Okay. Who said what? And we're back online. I said, say something. Hello? Yeah. Well, I hear in this. Is that? No. Our next award is the top platoon leader. This is presented to Cadet Catherine Paul. Next one is our top squad leader, and this is presented to Cadet McCall.
Our next award is the Cadet of the Year slash NCO of the Year. This is awarded to the best of the best who consistently demonstrated exceptional high degree of leadership, academic achievement, and performance of duty, impeccable appearance, and maintained good character throughout the school year. And is presented to Captain Paul for NCO of the Year. And now these are our company of awards. If you are a cadet of the following companies, congratulations. And with most of the company leadership being our graduated seniors, a chosen member of the past companies will come up and pick up the company awards. For Cadet Challenge, this is awarded to Alpha Company. For our honor company is also Alpha Company. I'm sorry, the honor company was for Charlie Company. So it's not Alpha, it's Charlie. Congratulations to all our cadets, and now I would like the following company commanders, I mean, I would like the company commanders of Bobo to come up here and help me promote these fellow cadets. The senior army instructor has reposed special trust and confidence in the patriotism, fidelity, and abilities of the listed cadet. In view of these qualities and the cadet's demonstrated potential for increased responsibility, the cadet is therefore promoted to the cadet rank and assignment indicated. Cadet 2nd Lieutenant McCall. Cadet 4th Sergeant um, Pollard. shall have received their individual awards. Cadet Second Lieutenant My bad. Cadet Corporal Thompson Cameron. Cadet Staff Sergeant Bedell. Cadet. Slow it down a little bit. Slow it down. They need their time to get a photo. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Small. Mm -hmm. Small photo.
Cadet Second Lieutenant Cooper. Cadet Corporal Barlett Caroline. Cadet Force Lieutenant Paul. Cadet Sergeant Force Class Tate. Cadet Staff Sergeant McKinley. Cadet Second Lieutenant Loadman. Cadet Sergeant Williams.
Cadet Sergeant Parrish Stephan. Cadet Corporal Alfred Nathan. Cadet Sergeant Mitchell. Cadet Staff Sergeant Hodia. Cadet Staff Sergeant Young. Cadet Second Lieutenant Bartlett Veronica.
Up next, we have Cadet Captain Haley Thurner. Up next, we have Cadet Captain Yasmin Olas. And up next, we have Cadet Major James Booker. Congratulations, everyone. 